Welcome back to the 9 a.m. We are hanging out in the kitchen and you're looking at some uh, great bread. We got some appetizer. Joe Baker's in the house. We're talking about Black Mountain Wine Bar. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. All right, Joe, all right, Joe do, do, which came first? The, the last name or the ba You are a baker. <laughs> That's funny. I know it. <laughs> The, the last name definitely came first. Yeah. There you go. You are a baker, though. Tell me, tell me about how you got into Black Mountain Wine Bar. How so, came actually, we have a sister restaurant in Brooklyn, and I worked there back in 2007. My business partner uh, and I have been looking for almost 12 years to, to open a new spot. My wife's from St. Louis. When it became pretty clear that we were going to move to St. Louis, my business partner and I started looking for a spot. Um, she's an actress. And she was in uh, performing in a in a show in the Gaslight, which shares double doors with us. Yeah. And she said, "Hey, there's a for lease sign in this restaurant. We just did a reading for." And I was like, "What?" Uh, went and checked it out, and um, sat on the corner. I didn't even look inside the restaurant for I don't know two hours. And I called my business partner and said, "Hey, I think we found the spot. We signed the lease two weeks later." Um, I put. 12 hours a day into renovating um, the space, and seven months later we opened. Uh, so that's, that's how we got started. Wow, that's really cool. So how would you describe Black Mountain? Uh, in a sentence, we're an unpretentious wine bar. The, the biggest, the most important value that we have is that people feel comfortable. So the idea in, in Brooklyn was that it was an extension of people's living rooms. They don't have living rooms <laughs> in Brooklyn for right. the most part. <laughs> right. uh, our space is, the idea is that you're taking a trip out of the city uh, without leaving the city. So what we, what we want is have people come in, have a couple bites, uh, have some wine, and not get caught up in, it's, it's a wine bar, I have to know something about, about wine, or I, I, I need to be really precious about um, dining out. Uh, so we want to take that away, come in as you are, uh, hang out. Um, eat and drink and not get lost in, in all, of, all of the other things. Right. Tell me some of the things you brought with you today. So we, everything at the restaurant is a little bit s smaller than entrees, but bigger, uh, bigger than tapas. Yes. So this is the, these are our pork meatballs, um, mm. and this is our cheese board. Now we offer anywhere between five and six cheeses. You can have one, you can have three, you can do all of them. Um, little house-made uh, orange marmalade on the plate there, and then all of this is just a, another item that's, again, just throw it in your mouth, don't think about it. Um, and then over here is the, is the bread. So in, a, in addition to the restaurant, as part of the restaurant, we have a little shop. And on Mondays, I offer fresh baked bread uh, that, I, that I bake in house. This is sourdough with a 65-year-old starter. And then what I've got over on this side are just a couple of local artists that we feature. You have your uh, artist corner, don't you? Yeah, so in addition to having wine in the restaurant, you can purchase a bottle to go, but you can also both look at and or purchase uh, some local art. We've got a potter and and a woodworker here that we're that we're um, featuring. People want to check you out. How, how can they get old? Uh, the best way is Instagram uh, handle. It's uh, blkmtnstl. That's where I post all of the things. Um, we do free wine tastings on Monday from five to seven. We do pasta Tuesdays. Uh, that's the best way to know what we've got going on. Is is our Instagram handle. We also um, uh, we have a brand new website, but really Instagram is the, is the way to, to know what we're doing. All right, go check them out and then go check them out. <laughs> and you also want to check out the patio coming very Patio's soon. Patio's coming up, yep. It's going to be beautiful. All right, keep it right here. We've got more coming your way, gang. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.